Out this morning, a look outside. <laughs> there you go. Our Sky 9 camera network. Dark out, but the sun will rise a bit sooner uh, before, the, of course, you got daylight saving time kicking in. So as we all set our clocks, clocks back mm -hmm. by an hour here, you might feel a little bit off, right? Well, and if you didn't feel it yesterday, you may feel it today or in the coming days as you get back to that mm -hmm. normal routine and schedule. Well, Callie Hubbard joins us live this morning with details on the science behind how this one hour time change could give you an actual headache. Callie, interesting. <laughs> Liz, well, most of us welcome the extra hour of sleep, especially this morning, and many of you felt it yesterday. The time change can cause literal headaches. So we talked to Dr. Tony Johnson with Baton Rouge General, and he says cluster Cluster headaches can be associated with daylight saving time. Cluster headache attacks can happen every day for six to eight weeks and then go away in a cluster cycle. The theory is that you can actually prompt a cycle by switching the time with daylight saving time. Dr. Johnson says if you have a history of cluster headaches, make sure you're taking your medicine. You can also start taking other preventative measures now to stop the headaches from coming about trying to continue to get the amount of hours that you normally get. Of course, we recommend about seven hours or so for adults. Um, for kids, of course, a little bit more than that, um, anywhere from nine to 12 hours of sleep um, for uh, more so for the little ones, uh, more hours of sleep, of course. So uh, I think staying on the sleep cycle, making sure you're still exercising. He says to also make sure you're not eating too late. We'll talk more about that and how this can also have an impact for people with dementia coming up in the next half hour. Matt. Callie, live for us this morning. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.